Hey guys, today I am going to do a remand opening video and I haven't done one of these in a while so I'm excited to do it today. I am going to open the Hunwari Keki Asang and I think I've only opened one of these, maybe I've opened two of these, but we'll see what I get. And then I am going to open Dararin Attaka Gohan, Relaxed Hot Food is the direct translation basically. But yeah, I think I've opened two of these as well, so we'll see what I get. And finally, I'm going to open the Monsters University Campus Life, and I have never opened any of these before, so I'm excited to see what I get. I hope I get food of some sort. Okay, so let's start with this one. Ta -da! Ooh, which one is this? It looks like I have the Yakitate Sweets, Freshly Baked Sweets. Then the inside the display case and cafe table. And here are the little accessories on the back. As always, I won't be using these today, but as soon as I get a full set, I will do everything and try to make a cute video with a full set. For today, let's open these up and see what's inside. To start out with, there is a little paper bag, and I would assume it's to take the baked goods home in, and it's really cute. I love the print. And then here is a basket. Wow, the texture and detail on this is amazing. It doesn't look like plastic. It almost looks real. And to go in the basket, we have chicken pox dirakumas. No, I'm assuming it's some sort of like fruit cake or berry pound cake or something like that, but they're really cute. I mean, they do look like chicken box. And then there are these two little cookies, and look at one smaller than the other, so it's supposed to be Dirakuma and Korirakuma. That's so cute! Aww! So that was the set I got today, and let's go ahead and open the next one. Next we'll open up the Dararin Attaka Gohan. If I remember correctly, I've gotten the Hua Hua Nikuman. And the Rirakuma Pot Pie. I don't think I've opened any others yet. So, let's see what I get today. Ooh, soupo? It is the Oinari-san to Attaka Udon. And basically, an Inari is a fried tofu skin that's been flavored and wrapped around rice. It's a type of sushi. Explaining it like that makes it sound kind of weird, but they're really good. And udon noodles, which are really good too. So, here are all the little pieces just dumped out. <laughs> Let's start with this cute bowl. It has kiroi tori, rirakuma, and korirakuma on it, and it's kind of a traditional looking Japanese bowl. And here are the udon noodles, and there are actually noodles in here. You can see on the back the noodle texture. And on top it's made to look like soup with some green onions on top. To go on top is a little dirakuma kamaboko, which is basically a fish sausage. And we actually use this over on Studio Lorien in our salad udon video, so that's cool. So here is a white plate and it's just dirakuma sleeping, if you guys can see that. And on that plate we will put these inari zushi on. And they look so cute! I have seen people um, make these before for like deco bends and stuff and to make cute sushi. It's really cute. And look at these little chopsticks, guys. They're smaller than toothpicks. That's crazy. But look at, they're even textured. So that's cool. So that's the second set. And now I'm going to go ahead and open the Monsters University one. I'm really excited to open this one because I've never seen any of these before. It's tape shop. Okay, got that open. Oh, which one is this? It is the Shiken Benkyo, like studying for exams. So like pencil, books, and coffee to stay awake to study. Here's the first book. It says Introductory Scare Techniques by Dr. Fungolius Brown. That's cool, and it's kind of made to look like leather of some sort. So that's pretty cool. The second book is a complete monster encyclopedia. <laughs> this is so cute, it has all the little different monsters on here. 
Here's a side complete monster encyclopedia. And there's Sully on the back. And cool, it even has barcodes. That is so cool. And then here is a MU book strap. I don't know like what it's technically or officially called. Ta-da! This was hard to put on, but I got it on, so that's what it looks like. And then we have a Monsters University mug. And in that mug we put coffee. And I'm sure it is caffeinated. Then here's a little Mike figure and this guy looks like he has a dimple. That's so cute. Here's a pencil with a squishy eraser on it. It's so cute. In the picture it showed Mike holding it, but he doesn't really grip it. I guess if you stood it like this, you will. You can kind of lean the pencil against him. So that's what it looks like. And this is such a cute set. I'm going to have to try and see if I can get some more on sale and try to complete the set because I really like this one. It'll be good for playing with my pull-ups too because they're about the same scale. Here are the three sets I got today, and I love them all very, very much. They're so cute. I'm going to have to go with the Inari and Udon set, though, because I really like to eat those foods. But the Monsters University one is really cute, too, and I always like pastries, so it's kind of hard to pick. But, I mean, the Rirakuma cake or bread does look like it has chicken box, so... Maybe they could have used a different type of berry. <laughs> no, it's really, really cute, and I'm just kidding. But, yeah, I think the favorite one from you today is the Udon one. Let me know which one you like the best, and let me know which remints you'd like me to open next time. I will see you then. Bye!